In this section, we're going to look at how to change the image or picture attached to a word. We'll first go to the graphic browser, and I'll go to my own area of graphics, Pictures A, and I'll select this picture of Bradley, put it in the document, expand it a bit, double-click to make sure we've got the right shape. Now Bradley's very keen on football, so I'm going to write that underneath in symbols. So Bradley likes football. I think I want this image for football, the second one, so we'll click on that one there. Now here, the image for Bradley is a generic one that the computer knows for all male names beginning with B. It would be much better here to have an actual picture of Bradley. So I can go back to the graphics browser, click on Bradley, and then click in the word Bradley here, and it will change that image there for the one of Bradley. Get rid of the graphics browser now, and you can see Bradley there. If I now type again, the computer now, now will know two images for Bradley, it will know the original one and the new picture that I've added. Let's use the new picture that I've added again. Bradley is the goalkeeper. I can highlight these paragraphs and it would be quite nice uh, to have them aligned centrally so I can click on center and maybe we would want the font a bit bigger and something we haven't looked at yet is the graphics. We could make the graphics bigger, say 34, and we've got uh, a better sized image here. Bradley likes football. Bradley is the goalkeeper. Now it may be that Bradley only features this once in the document and you don't want to regularly attach that picture to his name, but sometimes there'll be pictures that you do want to regularly attach to the graphic so we can go to word list now and remember that the word list is the thing that links the word that you type to the picture that you get and this time we're going to look at save word list changes click on save word list changes and you can see that it knows that we've got a new word Bradley this is the picture of Bradley and this is the word list that we're using widget 11 what we can do is now click add and that will add this word and this image to this word list. So that next time we use the program, we open the program afresh, it will automatically have Bradley and this image in the word list. So we can click Add now. The word disappears from here because it's been added to the word list. So we can say Done. So if I were to now close the program and open it again and type the word Bradley, then that image would be one of the options offered to me. So using this technique, simply going to the graphics browser, finding an image and putting it onto a word, we can add that particular image to that word. And if we want to, we can save that for future use.